In this video, I'm just going to quickly go through um, the process of completely uh, importing and tracing a floor plan. So I'm just going to go ahead and buzz through here, and you can just watch as I go. First step here, we are just going to go ahead and import a PDF floor plan onto our background. And, and I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to get the proper scale ratio set. And then going to set my scale. All right, we're all set there. And now I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to start my walls. Select the wall, make sure the color is set and the size. And let's begin tracing here. All I'm doing here is I'm holding in my uh, mouse scroll button. It lets me pan while I'm actually drawing my walls here. And when I get to sections like this where the wall's on the other side, I just hit F5 and it'll bounce the wall to the other side. Okay. And when we're done wall drawing these walls here, I'll show you um, how we can just fine tune these once we got them in place. To draw a new wall section, all I'm doing is disabling, see so the still connect, I'm just right clicking. My wall is still selected, so it's still active. <clears throat> all right, now for the garage. Looks like we've got the whole outline here. So now I'm going to zoom in. Whoop, got my wall still selected here. Let's zoom in to this section. Now, what we need to do is we need to uh, draw in our doors and windows. Uh, we hold this shortcut key, we hold Control and press W. It turns our walls into a wireframe. And we're going to use this new uh, option in the Wire Pro where we can freehand custom draw our doors and windows. So we're going to go through and draw these and click to cut those out and get this other size side here okay and a couple windows same way and I know this one's the same here and I can keep panning while I got an object selected too uh, I'm going to need a new size window here so That one looks the same. These ones are probably the 24 inch also, yep. Okay, got a door. Make sure we get the right swing here. Cut that out. And we also have uh, some garage doors. We can custom draw those sides too. Just draw that in there. Pop that in on that side. Whoop. Cut the walls out. Okay, Let's see what we're missing. Got some doors here. here. 
as you can see, just in a matter of a couple minutes, we can um, gain quite a bit of progress in here. And the more you practice this, the faster it'll become. I'm just going to adjust this wall here. Copy and paste a new one. And here's what I was talking about, being able to adjust these walls. So you can fine tune these walls. You can kind of see how they were drawn and connected. Well, that one's, there we go. Use my keyboard to adjust that. So a couple more doors here. ones are 24 inch. Okay, looks like we got the majority of them here. And we got this one. So we can double check what we're doing here. I'm just going to hit control W. See my walls filled in and I'm going to go over my floor plans and at the bottom here I'm just going to uncheck this visible. We can see we got the large majority of, of things cut out here, and uh, we can begin uh, doing some more of the fine-tuned details. Uh, let's go ahead and add some text boxes here so we can get some of this uh, text in here. Uh, draw a text box, and I'm going to set it to transparent, the fill, and so this is master bedroom. 14 foot by 13 foot. And I'm going to make my text just a little bit smaller. And once we've got a text box here, we can just simply click it and then Control C and Control V for copy and paste. And then we can just go and re edit. So we've got bedroom 11 foot by 11 foot. And this is the same one down here. Kind of a nice feature as we're going along here, as I'm copying and pasting these, uh, when I uh, hit Control C for copy, wherever I move my mouse cursor at and then hit Control V uh, for paste, uh, it'll paste it right in that location. So Control C, same thing with this kitchen here, you'll notice I'll hit Control V, it'll paste that right there. All right, well, we got a good portion of the text and stuff here. Um, let's go ahead and maybe add some uh, symbols here. So we're going to go to plumbing. Let's go ahead and add some sinks. We've got a sink here in the kitchen. As I'm moving, you, you're noticing that my symbol is actually rotating to the wall. So we've got a sink there. Uh, we've got a couple bathtubs. I can't quite squeeze that in there. I can hit R on my keyboard to rotate it manually. Okay, so I had a couple toilets. Rotate that. So we got a sink here and a sink here. And let's just go ahead and on this counterpart here, let me go ahead and put in a range here real quick. And let's just pop in that range. So now we got a, oh, that's green. Let's go ahead and change that to black. 
Uh, so what we can do is, uh, for drawing this counter, I'm just going to go and use a, this polyline tool. I'll set it for 45 degree snap. Makes it easier for drawing. Make sure my color is black. Just going to go along the outline here. Draw that in there. Okay, and then I'm going to actually send it to the back. So when I click on it, um, over here I can say move backwards. And let's add that refrigerator. And that one's green also. Let's change that. Use our keyboard to put it in place here. All right. And we also have a couple of counters here. Uh, so I'm just going to use a box here on this freehand one. And again, because when I draw it, it's actually on the top here. I'm going to click on it and send it to the back so it's below the walls here. Uh, let's adjust this wall real quick. And we've got another one right here. It's supposed to be more down here. There we go. And we have a couple closets up here. We'll just do the same thing. We'll just go and use our polyline tool. Right click to unselect it and then reselect it here and send it to the back. Okay. Send that one to the back. Looks like we got a couple dotted lines here um, showing some shelves. Possibly. Click that and we're going to set the line style here. Let's do a dotted line. Then I'm going to copy that and I'll just paste that right over here. Okay, let's take off our uh, PDF file in the background, just see what it looks like. So, here we look like we have, uh, looks like we have a majority of things put in here. And this is just an example, just to show you how easy it is, just to um, bring the whole entire floor plan into the Wire Pro using our walls, windows, and doors. Then we have the full access to the full project, all the components and stuff in here. Uh, if this is a method that you'd like to to do. Yep, and we, so we have a whole floor plan that's pretty much ready to go. You can begin uh, adding your electrical circuits um, to complete the project. And one final thing too, because uh, when we were drawing our walls, uh, we kind of selected a color so we can see as we're drawn over top of that. Um, we can right click and we have this option for any symbol that's uh, placed in your diagram. You have the option to select it by an object type. It, it keeps track of the different symbols that you're placing. So if we wanted to select just the walls um, or uh, certain particular symbol objects, we can do that. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and select all because we just want it all to be the same color. We'll just change the color. Let's just set it to black here. And there we have our floor plan. And it looks like I did forget to cut out a couple doors um, and this wall here looks like it was actually open. Let's go and double check that. Control W and yep, we'll just open that up here. And just copy new wall section over here. And it looks like I have a door. One more door. Control W to fill the walls. And one final little thing, I'm just going to zoom back in and over this place. I'm going to hold in my uh, Z button on my keyboard and highlight the area I want to zoom to. And another uh, quick tool, we have a couple of them. If you press and hold down the D key while you start, uh, you left click the mouse and start to drag, 
and you'll notice uh, you have a quick dimension tool here. So we can just kind of double check our setting here. So this is the ratio that we originally set to, and we can see our dimension shown 21 feet, just as the garage was uh, in that PDF file. And another option, if you hold in A, let's go to this corner, and we're going to highlight the room. And you'll see up in the upper right corner there, um, it gives us the, uh, an approximation of our area in square footage. So a couple tools that you can uh, use while you're designing. And thank you for watching this video on converting a PDF floor plan into the WirePro. Thanks.